Okay, let's proceed now. So, we will continue our discussion on um, periodic payments. Okay, finding the periodic payments under the uh, annuities. So, finding the periodic payment of annuity. So, these are the formula. So, the first one is given the amount, and then the second one is given the uh, present value. Okay, the first formula is given the amount SI over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. And then the second formula is given the present value. AI over 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N. Okay? So when we say periodic payment, you're referring to the regular payment. Okay? Periodic payment, you're referring to the regular payment. So for example, how much monthly deposit must be made for 5 years and 5 months in order to accumulate 120,000 at 15% compounded annually. So in here, we need to look for how much monthly deposit. Okay? So, I'm saying how much monthly deposit you're referring to a regular payment. Okay, how much your monthly regular payment. Okay, how much your monthly regular payment. So, first, identify the given variables that we have. So, we do have uh, 120,000. Why is it 120,000 is, is, uh, is the amount? Or why is it 120,000 is considered is equal to your S? So, I'm saying S, you're referring to the final amount. Okay. Because according to the problem, in order to accumulate 120,000, okay, 120,000, so meaning 120,000 is your amount because you're referring to the future from the word to accumulate, okay, because of the word to accumulate. So meaning 120,000, you are referring to the amount, okay. And then we do have I, which is your periodic rate. So 0.15 divided by 12, so you do have 0 0.0125. How do we solve for the periodic rate? To solve for the periodic rate, that would be R over M. So your rate here in this problem is 15%. Okay? So that would be 15% converted to decimal. So you do have 0.15 divided by 12. Where do you get 12? Because according to the problem, compounded monthly. Okay? Compounded monthly. So therefore, your periodic rate is equal to 0.15 over 12. I mean, a 0.15 divided by 12 is equal to 0 0.0125. So that's your periodic rate. And then your N, how do we solve for N? To solve for N, T multiplied by M. So your given time is 5 months, 5 years and 5 months. So that will be 5.42. Okay? 5.42. The question is, where do you get 42? 0.42. 5 plus 5 over 12. 5 pertaining to 5 years plus 5 months. So since the given is 5 months, so you need to divide it by 12. So 5 plus 5 over 12, that would be equal to 5.42. Multiply by your conversion period, which is 12, so you do have 65 periods. Okay? So to solve for the regular payment or periodic payment, just simply substitute. So therefore, your regular payment is 1207.52. Okay? 1207.52. So same thing in number 2 example. What amount of money will be paid at the end of each quarter for six years and six months if the present value is 50,500 and the interest at 10% compounded quarterly. So more or less, you have an idea what is 50,500 because it's already stated in the problem. So 50,500, that is your present value. Okay. So 50,500, that is your present value. So same thing, same procedure, solve for your periodic rate and solve for N. And then after you identify your periodic rate and your N, you can now substitute it to the given formula. Okay, so your I will be 0.10 divided by 4. So that will be 0 0.025. And then N, that will be 6.5 times 4. How do you get 6.5? Again, 6 years and 6 months. So that will be 6 plus 6 over 12. So you do have 6.5. Multiply it by your conversion period, which is 4. How do you determine it's 4? Because according to the problem, it's compounded quarterly. So you do have 26 periods. Okay? Then after that, you can now substitute it. So therefore, your regular payment will be uh, 2,664.82. 2,664.82. So that is your regular payment. Okay? So let's continue. So Dino wants to buy a car worth 740000 He can pay 40% of the price as down payment and the balance payable every end of the month for 60 months. How much he pay monthly at 15% compounded annually? Okay, so how much 
he pay monthly. So meaning you do have a monthly payment, okay, every month. So if if, if that's the case, you, you are referring to you're referring to a regular payment. Okay, what is your regular monthly payment? Okay, so seven hundred forty thousand. You are referring to the uh, cash value of the car. Okay, so we have cash value of the car, which is seven hundred forty thousand. Okay, and then the down payment that will be two hundred ninety six thousand. The question is, Miss, how do you get two hundred ninety six thousand? You need to get the forty uh, percent of seven hundred forty thousand. Okay, the forty percent of seven hundred forty thousand. Because according to the problem, he can pay 40% of the price as down payment. So the 40% uh, of 740,000, that will be 296,000. Okay? And then to solve for A, remember that cash value is equal to down payment plus the present value. Okay? Remember that cash value is equal to the down payment plus the uh, present value. So you, you already have the cash value and then your down payment, then you can now solve for A. So your A will be 740,000 minus 296,000. So your present value will be 444,000. Okay, 444,000. Again, solve for periodic rate. So you do have 0.15 divided by 12. So that will be 0 0.0125. And then N, time multiplied by M. So you do have 60 months uh, divided by 12 times 12 is equal to 60 uh, periods. Okay? 60 divided by 12 times 12, so you have 60 periods. So to solve for a periodic rate, I mean, to solve for the regular payment, okay, or your periodic payment, periodic payment or regular payment, they are the same. So just apply the formula. Since the given uh, money is a present value, so we need to apply the second formula. So your uh, periodic payment or regular payment will be 10,562.73. Uh, Okay, 10,562.73. So that will be your monthly payment or your regular payment. So same thing with number four. Okay. So you need number four. Pam wants to have 750,000 at the end of five years for her graduation expenses. She plans to deposit a certain sum to achieve this at the end of each month. If her bank pays 15% compounded monthly what should be the amount of her monthly deposit again so if you're looking for a regular payment or periodic payment okay what is the unknown in number four the unknown in number four what should be the amount of her monthly deposit okay so you need to deposit monthly if you're depositing monthly so that is your regular payment so seven hundred fifty thousand you're referring to your amount okay why 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 do you say so because of the word pam wants to have Okay, to have. I'm saying to have, meaning you're in the future. If you're talking about in future, so that is final amount or amount. Okay, so S will be 750,000. Your periodic rate that will be uh, 0 0.15 divided by 12, so you have 0.0125. Okay, 0 0.0125. Okay, so that is your periodic rate. And then for your N, so you do have five years for her graduation expenses, so that will be five times 12, so you will have 60 minutes. So therefore, your regular payment will be. 8467.45 8467.45 so that is your regular payment or your monthly deposit okay to have 750,000 at the end of 5 years so pam needs 8467.45 a month okay per month so that uh, she can have 750,000 at the end of 5 years okay so same thing number five on may 31 2007 connie invested 800 at 10 percent compounded monthly the investment is to be paid out in 90 equal monthly payments with the first payment on june 30 2007 so what is the size of each monthly payment okay what is the size of each monthly payment so meaning you're referring to the periodic payment so we have eight, 185,000, that is your present volume, okay? Periodic rate, that will be 0.10 divided by 12, so you have 0 0.008333. And that will be your 90 periods, okay? The investment is to be paid out in 90 equal monthly payments, okay? So you do have 90 equal monthly payments, so that is your 9, 9, 9, N, that will be your N, 90 periods or 9, 
90 terms. Okay? So we're looking for periodic payment, your monthly payment, okay? your regular payment. So just substituting the formula, so you will come up with 2930.01. So that will be your monthly payment, 2930.01. Okay, remember, problem that involve expenses and cash are present value problems. The problems that involve income or revenue are the amount problems. Okay?